celebrating the 30 years of the Bal uprising. And the main thing really is to ensure that we remember the heroic struggles that were waged by the people of this area, uh, the people of the Val. <laughs> And now, you know, I can, I can, I can stay wherever I, I mean, wherever I like. And then I go to any school. I'm, our children they are attending any school that they want. And then now, they, 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 another change that we have. Everyone, I mean, our kids now, they, they now they have been now taught. I mean, with their with their mother tongue of fish. By that time, we were we were, we were oppressed. We were suppressed uh, to use an Africans as a medium of instruction. So there are lots of developments now. And then everyone now is free. And then even if you can see. And then everyone now is now is talking about the 20 years of, of freedom, you know, of which really is, 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 is true and is definitely happening. I think the government should improve the, the service delivery because that is that is the most uh, the most critical critical things that that is really facing our life today. In my area, uh, the facilities have been improved. Like you can see, you're in a stadium right now, which you can freely come and we can gather as a whole. Uh, the schools are the schools are for free now. Uh, our people have houses and the streets are, are very, very good. Even though we haven't done that much, but we believe there's still more that can be done. And working together, we can achieve more.